Pocono City Council voted unanimously to fund a controversial $1.5 million program to combat gun violence. This weekend's deadly shooting at Meadowview Park prompted a special meeting tonight over at City Hall. And that's where we find CBS 13 Sharin Roger. She is live now with more with reaction to tonight's vote, and it was controversial, Sharin. Sam and Adrian, it sure was. And a unanimous vote, though, in favor of this program. A lot of support for the Advance Peace program. A lot of people had come out to City Hall tonight. It was a packed night, but also, yes, a very heated debate. Now, all of this was sparked by the uh, shooting at Meadowview Park over the weekend. That's what prompted this special meeting tonight. And it just so happens that while this was happening here, the family of that shooting victim from this weekend's shooting was holding a vigil. 49-year-old father Ernie Cadenio was killed when shots rang out Sunday afternoon at a popular Sacramento neighborhood park. He was working hard. He did what he could for his daughter you know, and his girlfriend and baby to come. Cadenio was spending the day at Meadowview Park while his friend Sibo, a well-known Sacramento rapper, was filming a music video. The artist had announced his video shoot on Instagram, writing, Let's go, Sacktown. OGs will be outside. It's a sad, senseless shooting that shouldn't have happened. As families gather to mourn Tuesday night inside City Hall Chambers. If we don't try something different, then we're going to continue to see these patterns. A lot of support for the Advanced Peace Program aimed at combating gun violence in Sacramento by targeting the roughly 50 young men who are believed to be responsible for most of the gun violence in the city and providing them options through high-level mentorship modeled after a successful program out of Richmond, California. It's going to work in Sacramento. This is an opportunity. If giving them positive mentorship and showing them love they've never experienced, at the same time giving them incentives to do better, then I say, let's do it. But Councilwoman Angelique Ashby had her concerns over the ambiguous language of the contract. There's not one thing in this contract or in the resolution that says that they need to work with the police department. We have no opportunity to pull out of this contract. None. She recommended changes and a one-week delay. One-week delay down the line is another gang shooting, is another victim. And so, no. And despite the unanimous vote in favor of the program, still some criticize that the program offers stipends to participants for their achievements. But supporters say that money comes out of private funding and not taxpayer dollars. Another criticism of the program was that it won't be working with law enforcement, but Police Chief Han was here tonight. He says this is just a piece of the puzzle. It won't be solving violence in the community, but it's just a part that might make a difference, and they will be working with law enforcement, especially to identify the participants of this program, and the city manager's office will be working to fine-tune this contract to make sure that the contract and the people that are working behind this program are held accountable for what they say they're going to do.